Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Starlink Battle for Atlas. Today we are continuing the St. Grand Secrets quest, which of course is Last Word Retrieve the final canister over on Karit. We might even play as a different character today because I've been playing a lot of Star Fox. Of course, last episode we completed the Star Fox mission, but I want to do somebody else. You know, we've been playing a lot of Chase as well. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with both uh, Razor LeMay and Judge, but I think we'll do Judge because his time shift was really good. And you know, this mission does have a lot to do with Judge Eyes. I feel like it's just really fitting. I mean, I do have to get a little bit more used to him and everything, get him some upgrades and stuff, but that shouldn't be too bad. And beyond that, we'll also just try to do our best. Have a good time. Judge deploying. Yeah, so yeah, I really don't know what's gonna be going on in today's episode as we make our way to Karit and get the last word. Like this might be the end of the quest right here. It might be super duper easy, but beyond that, maybe we'll explore around next episode. The goal is to complete the story mode, but if we have a lot of free time, maybe we'll just do it in today's episode. I'm not really sure. It's, it's sort of, I, I don't know what's next because honestly, the ending of the game really snuck up on me. I thought there was gonna be at least a good chunk more action left to get to, and there wasn't, so. That's fine. I mean, there's still like a lot to do in the game. There's just not a lot to do in the story, you know? So we're just gonna get on with Karit for now and we'll worry about it then. It looks like we're gonna go over that way. Which Karit we have mostly completed, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue here. I would looks hope like at the our least. Allies have got a lock on Karit's Prime. You can see it on the star map. I thought we had gotten rid of Karit's Prime, but if we take a look, yeah, they only have 7% anyways. Something's going on over here. Okay, so. Where is the quest? The quest is going on right here, so it's actually just gonna be smarter to fly right over to it instead of, uh, you know, doing any kind of teleportation to Aspire. So we're fine, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited to check this out. What is it gonna be all about? I guess we'll find out. Whoa, out! <laughs> is it just under a rock Welcome somewhere? The canister. This is it, guys. Oh We've my gosh. Dossier. Oh no, it's not. Except mine. Right. Do you want to listen to this alone, Mason? No. It's okay. Let's hear it. Oh! Recovered. All Equinox canisters accounted for. So this is the canister that talks about Mason's backstory. Right at the beginning of the series, we did a quest that was talking about the backstories of some of the other characters. So let's hear Mason's. St. Grand personal log. Subject, Mason Rana. Mason is a brilliant young mind. He's achieved more in his first 20 years than I did in 40. I used to tremble at the thought of what awaited us in the stars, but then I met Mason and saw that he had no fear of the unknown, only hope. He will succeed where I once faltered. The Equinox is one small ship, one small family in a vast and dangerous universe, but with Mason's optimism, creativity, and enduring faith in his friends, we will never be alone. Aww. I sort of sad. Don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah, we miss him too. But at least we have each other. Thanks, Levi. That was really nice. Mason? Yeah, Shade? Don't let all that brilliant hope stuff go to your head, okay? <laughs> All right, well, there we go. That means we've completed the same grand secret. So yeah, I guess at this point, we should be good to ow, go. Sorry there, neighbor. Um, I think we'll be good to go then. Uh, we really only have one main mission left to do. Once it shows up, it's the main campaign. We got Stasis Armor 4, a new mod collected for completing that, not bad. Nice purple mod. I believe that if we wanna go and complete the main campaign, upward and onward, go to the Equinox and travel to Alice B, I, I definitely want to, but, we should definitely switch to a character I'm a bit more familiar with. I know I said that I didn't want to do that, but starting next episode, if we really complete the story today, I will go ahead and start checking out new characters again starting next episode, and we'll check out the rest of who we've got. So we have like three more characters we have not seen. Definitely check those guys out. Um, beyond that, we'll just get everything set up as we're familiar with it, and yeah, hopefully everything will turn out well. I'll also check out whatever upgrades we need to do. So going to our loadout, making sure we have the best possible things for our ship and stuff. Like I want to uh, mod ship and weapons. Don't really have, unequipable. Can only be, yeah, that's only the Star Fox one, which is weird, but I guess so. Yeah, it's an R-Wing super core, so it makes sense. Um, we can do like an epic commander core, that should be fine. Um, that should be okay. Unequipable, yeah, that's only a Star Fox. And it's weird how many Star Fox stuff there is. And it's all of our legendary stuff too, so it really gives you quite an advantage. 
Ability recharge speed is always good. And then shield recharge speed would be really good actually, especially if we're doing in space battles. They can be really tough. And then we'll do a 35% resistance to heat. Uh, we might end up boosting a couple of things, like if we can fuse some things, like we got with this Fighter Core 3, if we could turn that into a Fighter Core 4, that'd be awesome. The only problem is I wouldn't be able to get too many more beyond that. Like I wouldn't be able to make a legendary one, but I'll go ahead and try it. Uh, so I want to fuse these. Yes, takes a Nova, but it's fine. And then same thing with these ones. Problem is I couldn't make another purple one. That's fine, we'll live. And is there anything else I want to combine? I don't really have too much more I can, except for that. And well, there's this over here. That should be fine, tank cores. It's always good just to, you know, make it better. Oh, here we go, tank core four. That actually might be a better choice in general. Like, uh, no, not quite, <laughs> but it could have been. Okay. So now that we've done that, taking a look at all this kind of stuff, like I could do a couple of these, like I could upgrade this to be, oh, can I not? Upgrade the Equinox's Mod Foundry to gain the ability to fuse three mods of the same type. Okay, so I can't actually do the legendary ones just yet, but if I take a look now, we have a couple of Equinox things. We could do this, yeah, we might as well. I got that going on. I could do mod synthesis, spend Electrum and Nova to clone any mod, even one of a kind relics, which is pretty crazy but that could be really useful. Um, we also have like freight and cargo. I don't really need, no, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, that was a lot of Nova just wasted. Whoopsies, okay. We got Warden Research. I actually, these are locked. Gain more experience with pilots to unlock the purchasing of this upgrade. Same thing with this one, purchase, yeah, okay. Uh, Expedition Wing, we haven't done too much here, but I need more experience. So just like levels in general, which is interesting. Yeah, I really can't get into that kind of stuff too much. Okay, well that's sort of the extent of what we can really do except for going into pilot skills, which we have two points available so we could uh, do one of these two, like we have stunt training, chase trains all pilots in your collection how to push their ship to higher speeds, or chase fine tunes her weapon while overdrive is active, reducing their energy, like I think that's gonna be really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do that skill. And I think with all that, she's actually has this available, another Grand Prix while overdrive is active, chase makes, uh, any ship extra light, improving the maneuverability of heavy builds, which could be okay. Um, Fired up. But it's not something I entirely need at the moment. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go all the way back to the Equinox, and we are just going to teleport to it, and we're gonna try to fight Grax and hope that it turns out okay. I mean, I have some of my best weapons you know, equipped. They're all ice weapons, but I'm sure we could equip some other stuff that would do pretty well. Tundra. The Warden's Playgrounds. Legion Giants will reclaim the Dark Sector for Grax, a Warden Reborn. If you say so, I don't care. So we're just gonna go into this big teleportation thing and that didn't work. Wait, what? I thought that's all I had to do. Because every time I start the game, it's like, oh, do you wanna go fight Grax? And, it's, and I, I go, not now. But how do I go and fight Grax? Uh, well maybe if I, yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. Um. Huh. I don't know what's up with that. Because every time I reload the game, it asks me if I wanna do that, but now I'm actually here, and there's no way to? That is odd, I might have to, oh wait, here we go. I already fight Crax, it just takes a second, that's really weird. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna go fight Crax, and hope this turns out okay. Oh, we're going through the portal. Third time's a charm. Whoa. Yes. So this is. I made it, guys. I'm here. What's up with these dreadnoughts? They're all busted. Not all of them. Check it. Nine o'clock. Doesn't seem like they're active though. For now. But we spent time getting here. Time Grax used to collect Nova. Soon as these dreadnoughts are fueled up. We won't let it happen. I am afraid it only gets worse. The Warden Station, it's not orbiting the solar shield. It's inside of it. He's on the sun? Is he crazy? Okay, you're telling me we still can't reach Grax after all this? No, there has to be a way in. Well, I guess we'll find out. Hey, geniuses. If that shield's so tough, how's that dreadnought getting through? You're right. Maybe if we disguised our vessel code somehow. Dude, hold up. If the Dreadnought can go through the shield, why don't we just go through the Dreadnought? That isn't a bad idea. 
Seriously? We all head in there, we'll be sitting ducks. Then only one of us goes. I'm not sure we have other options. Hmm. Wait, I'm getting Warning. something. Warning. Legion Drake's incoming. Uh oh. Everyone, oh, here they come. To engage. All right, we'll start shooting on them right away. Looks like our missiles. Oh yeah, but we have all of our friends. You see all those green dots? They're all of our friends, so we should be pretty good. Okay. Whoa. Not what I wanted. Got to be careful. Pretty tough already. There's people all over fighting us. And what level are these guys? I don't really know. Didn't really give me too much of a level recommendation, but they are level 15, so we're just about rivaling them, which is pretty good. Oh boy. Go 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 go. The dreadnoughts sending more drakes our way. Oh no. Oh no no. We're running out of time. One of us needs to fly through that dreadnought or we'll lose our chance. I'll do it. Are you sure? Once you're on the other side, we won't be there to help. Thank Grant oh, gosh. me. This is my one chance to pay him back. Let me do this. Okay, we'll handle the drakes, but you have to go now. Okay, so. The oh, I gotta go there. Defend itself while it's coming through the shield. So just hit the missile hatch and go straight for the core. Okay, let's go for it. Let's boost on over there. I'm a little bit damaged at the moment, so now's a good time. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No, no, no. You know what? I might have to speed boost. Go into overdrive just to get out of here as fast as possible. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, they can't catch up. Oh, we got some enemies coming in now. I gotta be careful of this. Are they all mines? Oh, they're like their missiles or mines or something. I don't really know. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Whoa. Oh, oh, nice. We'll cover you. I'll try my best. Oh gosh, so I think my hyperdrive, overdrive, whatever it was, is all ran out, so I just gotta go in. Interior That's it. Enabled. Okay, so. Heading for the reactor. Whoa, we're moving fast too. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. This is scary. Oh, we got spikes on the walls too. Oh, oh, that hurt. Okay, Chase. It's all you now. Gotta be strong. Come on, can we heal up soon? I don't know. Whoa, we're moving quick. Starlink, come to bend to my will at last. Oh no, it's him. You monster! I'm coming for you. You're done here. <laughs> yes, the harvest of Atlas is over. Your efforts to stop me have failed. My legion has fared on its nova, and now we take to the stars. Perhaps I'll visit yours. No, you're not leaving ah. here, not ever. So now he wants I to go to our solar system. Oh, and you know what I have, right? I have my uh, my ability, Warning. right? Oh, I can't use it here. Oh, weird. No. Oh, that stinks. Come on, keep going. Can I just attack this from this angle? It doesn't really work. I need to hit it through these little holes, I think. Then it turns. That's a lot of lasers. That is a whole bunch of lasers. Come on, keep getting it. We got it. So that makes it a lot more difficult without our special ability. I can't move up or down either. I just gotta move left or right, which also makes things quite tough and confusing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. It's so hard to tell where they're coming up from. Okay, here it is, here it is. As soon as I get to it, it starts turning again. So I just gotta keep up with it. There we go, there we go. Watch out, watch out, lasers coming in. Oh, I just barely dodged those. Keep getting it, keep getting it. It's it's getting really low now. Ooh, somehow I didn't take any damage there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. Don't let it, don't let it move out of the way. Okay. Now, now, yeah, we got it! Yes, it worked. The warden station is ahead. Good luck. So now we're going into the warden station all by ourselves. Oh boy, I can't even see what's going on right there. Whoa! Oh my. All right, Grax, where are you? <laughs> I am in the stars. I am on every planet in Atlas. I surround you. So come bear witness as I claim every world in this galaxy. You're crazy. I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone else. My okay, where is he? Rid me of this blemish. All right, so it looks like we got some fire cyclopses. We got some crush cyclopses, which both of these guys I can deal with in with just uh, ice without too much of an issue. We'll have to wait and see if that's all I'm gonna be doing. But for now, working out pretty well. Oh gosh, that's a nice cyclops right there. So I'm going to work on the other guys. 
The Wardens lifted me from darkness. They gave me Nova. They chose me. You. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Before you keep saying mean things, let me change my weapon drill fast. Speck of dust on the pages of history. We'll see about that. Tear that dude up and then switch back to my other weapon real fast. Uh, well, I guess it would be this one. Yeah, there you go. Right back. You got that? You lash out like a child at power you don't understand. Just as the old wardens did. In their fear, they abandoned the Legion. You seek to destroy them, but I, I have made them so much more. We'll have to see about that. They seem just to be jerks now. Oh my gosh, what is that? Whoa! That looks cool! Uh-oh. Not good. This looks like it's gonna be a tough fight. I am the Warden. My Legion Scion will lead the harvest and cast this galaxy into a new age. No! Your leader understood. He tasted power and came here to claim it just as I did. Uh -oh. So this thing's going into its second form already. We got that first health bar down real easy though. So hopefully that continues this time. I might want to activate my ability soon, but I don't know, we're going pretty easy with it so far. There you go, we got that one done. <laughs> I think I'm a little over leveled for this. Oh gosh, what's he doing now? Witness the power of the warden uh Oh. What? What? That wasn't it? Your stupid machine's melting the station. The whole place is falling apart. No, I will not, baby. The wardens gave me this power. It is mine to control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh gosh, that's a lot of bullets. That is a whole bunch of bullets. Okay, just keep going with all this stuff. Gotta get it. He's almost down. Come on, we're doing good. He's just falling over. I don't I don't know what to do about this. Oh, it's all coming for me. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Ready? It's weak. Yeah! I'm oh, that was only a shield? Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Come on, keep going. Keep going. This is a lot more difficult than I thought. Oh here. man. What is hurting us right now? Are we overheating? Oh, we're overheating. We're really, really overheating. Okay, there we go, there we go. I guess it was sort of outside the bounds there, getting receiving a lot of extra damage. Okay, now he's always oh, got the shield back up. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had to fly. You had to be flying for not to hurt me right now. Come on, come on, we gotta keep going. So now he's like all ice covered. So now we gotta change our weapons up a little bit. The problem is that like I have all my upgrades on these guys. Um, we'll try this out for a little bit. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Get back up, get back up. Ah, oh, darn it, that stinks. So now we're on this weapon, or this ship. The problem now is that like, if I, well, I didn't even wanna go into super speed here. What's going on? I'm just trying to fight him. Come on, come on. This is doing critical damage, so that's good. I need to back it up, actually, because he's too close for comfort. There we go, back it up a little bit. Whoa, 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 where is he? He's this way. Come on, come on. Cool. Ah, ah, ah. That sent me flying. Not the right direction either. There we go, this does like so much critical damage. He's almost taken down, and now his health should be revealed. That's good. Let's go into, um, let's extinguish ourselves. Not that, not that. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Where'd he go? I can't see anything right now. What is happening? Okay, I think he's, recover, recover, recover. Oh boy, I think he's actually turning into another form now. So we might have to change our weapons another time. Yes, we do, change it back to the ice though. That is perfect, we should be able to destroy him super quick with this. Come on, oh boy, stop shooting at me. That was good, that was really good. Yeah, we're just absolutely demolishing him. Come on, he's almost down, we got him! The Scion is defeated. Very cool. Hopefully he didn't have more than one of those. Uh-oh. No. Looks like his plan failed. Starlink communication reestablished. Yes, you made it! Look, the shield's collapsing. Soon as that thing goes, we all burn. So get through the portal, now! Oh no. 
Oh no, this is gonna cut it close. Why Main campaign, the light at the end. Allow my scion to fall. You, you've cursed me. Rex, he made it out. What? I'm turning around. There's no time. I can do this. Just go. Okay, hurry. Escape through the Starlink portal. It's our only chance. Whoa, is that him? I think it is. Whoa, that's a big ship. I will destroy you. We'll see about that. I hate you. You're not getting away from me. Then apart, both end here. Come on. Oh, got him already. <laughs> not bad, actually. Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Got the elite the drake. I'm gonna make it. All right. So where's the portal at? It's over this way. Maybe I can just zoom past this guy. Don't even have to worry about it. I mean, I could put these on backwards real fast. Hold on. How do I do that? I've never done that like a single time. Uh, flip. No, not those ones. Flip and flip. Oh, did that work? Uh, there we go. And then I'm just gonna keep, that did not work at all. It said they were flipped and it didn't work. <laughs> okay, whatever. That guy can just go and hang out while the sun explodes. I'm just gonna keep driving. There's no way he can keep up with me. I'm too good. Come on, we can make it. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a timer or anything, so I think we're gonna be okay. I mean, I probably could turn around and beat him up. Oh, he is way too far away. Oh yeah, there's no chance. See ya, buddy. It'd be cool if we could get our full meter so we can go into hyperdrive and zoom on out of here. I don't know if we'll need it this way. Oh, I can go into hyperdrive. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. I'm doing this the unproductive way. Come on, come on. You got it. Only a couple more miles or light years or whatever it is. I never explained that part. And we made it. We got out of there. So Grax is definitely defeated. There's no way he made it out of there. We saw it the whole time. Oh, we're all back, so, even the Star Fox. Are you going to join us? Okay, try it now. What's this about, anyway? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Was that his phone? <laughs> oh. oh. Nice shot. Thanks. Here it is. Boom. Ooh, yeah. Grax is gone. Atlas is free again, thanks to you. We can be proud of what we accomplished here. Yeah! yeah. All right. Right. <laughs> we did it! Yes. So awesome out there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I can't believe we did it. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty crazy out there. Great work, yeah, everyone. Did. Did you see this? <laughs> almost had hey, you for a minute. Look what you, you just did right here. I didn't know you that was all you, man. Yeah. Saint Grand would be proud. But he saw something on that station. The answers we seek. This isn't the end, Judge. Your home is out there somewhere. And we'll find it. Aw, that's pretty cool. So we did it. We defeated the game, and that's the end of, I guess, the Starlink main campaign. Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now, I don't know if there's any other quests to really do. At this point, I think it's just checking out all the characters, mastering them, and getting all of the planets complete. Honestly, the main story was a lot shorter than I had expected. It was really quite simple. Um, This game was pretty fun, actually. I, I know a lot of people didn't really know what to expect of it, seeing how it's sort of kind of a toys to life game like Skylanders and uh, like Dimensions, but also it doesn't really require that. And you know, the, those kind of games sort of died off a couple of years ago. They aren't as popular now. So a lot of people weren't expecting just to do incredibly well, but I thought it was a pretty fun game and especially sort of the concept of it, of just it being an explorative space game. I think that's a lot of fun. And I hope that they do eventually do a sequel, maybe something a little bit more fleshed out because while this was fun, I do feel like it is a very surface level game in a lot of ways. Like I said, the story was a little bit short, but I had a lot of fun with it, don't get me wrong. It was a good game. We'll definitely be playing more. I definitely want to check out every character I have. I think I have every character in the game. But that's sort of the weird thing is sometimes characters will just sort of show up in the cutscenes and in the dialogue that I've never seen before. They're like, hey, I've been here the whole time. I'm like, who are you? So I think the idea is that those are characters that you can also get, but I don't know if some of them are like console exclusive, like Star Fox is Switch exclusive. And there's a little monkey guy. I don't know who in the world he is or if he's even on the Switch version because I thought I'd gotten everything available on the Switch version. I don't even know at this point. It's a little confusing. But yeah, I will definitely check out all the characters I possibly can. 
I'll try to get some more of the planets completed. I don't know if I'll fully 100% complete this game, but at the very least, I wanna check out every character because I feel like that's a big portion of the game I just wanna enjoy. But yeah, let me know if you've played through to the end of this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And hopefully you enjoyed this series. Of course, we've been doing lots of awesome stuff recently on Zebra Gamer. We've been playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Ultimate Super Mario Party, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and then 2019 is gonna be full of another chunk of awesome games. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Plenty of uh, Nintendo Switch games, you know, Animal Crossing, whatever next Pokemon game there is, Luigi's Mansion 3, lots of cool stuff. I'm very, very excited for it. And hopefully you are too. 2018 has been an excellent year and it was fun to complete another series now. So yeah, lots of awesome stuff still yet on the horizon. I don't know how long this credits. Oh, we can speed it up. Oh, how nice. <laughs> so I'll speed up this credits and I'll, I'll let you guys know if there's anything left at the end of it. Ooh, what's happening? Anomaly detected. Uh-oh. Well, looks like we ain't done here yet. Ooh, what's that mean? Reclaim Atlas. Grax has been defeated, but his Dreadnoughts are still active. Destroy all of his Dreadnought captains, reach full alliance on all planets, and finally bring peace to the Atlas star system. Illegal vector. Return to known space. All right. Well, we defeated Grax, and we got a point for that. The final showdown, new discovery. Starlink database cool. updated. So now our main command is to save Atlas. Uh, reach 100% alliance in Atlas. We're at 43 out of 100. Electrum shipment just came in from our prospector friends. All right, so it seems like we have a lot more left to do in the game when it comes to that kind of stuff, as you can see, because, I mean, having 100% everywhere is sort of something that's tough to achieve, and there's plenty of dreadnoughts to take on. I mean, I don't know if we want to do a little bit of that in today's episode or finish it off with that. I think we'll just finish it off with that. I think I had a lot of fun there. I will really quickly upgrade our pilot a little bit. Um, we have two points available. I need three for this, but, you know... Should we do 100% weapon energy? Yeah, let's do that. That way we can constantly use our weapons during the ability. I honestly think that's better than most of the other stuff. So, very cool. Uh, yeah, and that's where we're probably gonna finish it off. We'll do a ton more work in the upcoming episodes for sure, and hopefully be able to showcase all the characters, have a good time, and try to save Atlas. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Grax. So now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now. Or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.